And this affects everyone. So the tensions are high, people are angry, people are scared. I've never seen anything quite like this, quite frankly. It's very difficult to learn to adapt to those new circumstances and how to best look after our families. It's become very difficult having to deal with the fact that the families can't have the support of the community by being able to come to funerals. That the people say, well, we'll have a service later. And when that happens, and what we have found too, then that so much time or a couple months have gone by, and then they say, well, okay, we don't need one now, which we know is, doesn't help the healing process at all. One day our you know, protocol is one way and the next day it has to change because of uh, the new government ordinances or any other rules that have come across as we learn more about coronavirus. It's been very challenging to say, hey, we can't have a big crowd here. Before the pandemic, we were allowed about 200 people in our chapel. Uh, at first we were doing just 10 people at a time and we could bring 10 people in and then when they left, 10 more people could come in. And now that they've loosened up the guidelines a little bit, uh, we are limiting the families to 50 people uh, at a time, but they have to maintain social distance in the chapel. We highly recommend they wear masks and anything else that they feel is appropriate in attending the service. Um, or it's a situation where we provide streaming for the families that aren't able to be here in person. We take care of of people's loved ones that have died. And that's the core. We do it no matter what the circumstances are. The challenge is how do we maintain and make sure that they are going through the healing process with the best available tools that we have.